You may or may not know that around two months ago, the biggest beach club in all of Asia opened up right here in Bali. It's called Atlas Beach Fest and it opened up right down the road from me. It boasts to be the first beach festival in the world, whatever that means. It says it has the longest bar in all of Asia and the longest pool slide in all of Southeast Asia. But tonight, me and my friends are going there for different reasons than the pools. We are gonna go see world-renowned superstar DJ Steve Aoki. And because of some Bali belly issues that I've been having over the last few weeks, I'm not gonna be drinking tonight. I'm gonna be absolutely sober. So I thought, why not bring you guys along? I'll vlog it, probably on my phone, and I will give you my first impressions. I'll go into cost of everything at the end, but before that, me and my girlfriend are about to head out and grab some dinner. Then we're gonna over some friends for some pre-drinks before heading to Atlas Beat Fest, and that's where I'll see you next. So we arrived in the rain, which was great because beach clubs don't have roofs. At the first entrance, you come across security with airport style metal detectors, which are mainly for show and you'll get a quick pack down anyway. The entrance walkway is pretty large and probably good for the classic IG shot. I also noticed these waterfall features that were pretty cool too. So we just got into Atlas. This is the bit I've been to before, so I can't give you first impressions here, but there's lots of places to eat, lots of food options and a little street market as well. So yeah, this is really nice. You can come here for free. There's bars, food, everything you can think of. And then we need to go through the second entrance to get into the beach club which i haven't done before we were warned about possible cake missiles and then entered the actual beach club the dance floor and visuals were pretty decent and i can't complain about the sound system either sunset bar is supposed to be the longest continuous bar in southeast asia and it's about this long with your entrance voucher you get a free beer and we cashed in it tasted like juice but i have to say it was pretty good then we went to secure our spot on the dance floor right, that's so the the i don't know if you can hear me but yeah there's a really long bar here Listen. We still had 45 minutes until Steve, so I went for a wander and found the pool slide, a secret garden, and a roof deck. The paths were lined with palm trees, which I thought was a pleasing aesthetic touch. I found more day beds and pools, and it seemed that shisha was an option here. The food looked decent, and the VIP section was right next to the stage. At this point, the dance floor was filling up as we closed in on Steve's set. And it seems like Atlas doesn't have a back route to the stage because security had to part the crowd like the Red Sea, and then my man Steve passed right in front of me. Steve demanded that we clap our hands and then announce his name for those who still might not know why they bought a ticket for this. Steve Aoki. The crowd demanded Steve and he popped up from the abyss. And then we parted. What a f***ing wicked night that was. I am not massively into like house music or tech house and most of the large scale events here in Bali are usually house music. So when someone like Steve Aoki comes along, ah, uh, what a breath of fresh air and such good music, such good night. So what are my first impressions of Atlas Beach Fest? I have to say, I really enjoyed it. When somewhere says that they're gonna be the biggest of anything, I get a little bit skeptical because I think they're gonna be trying too hard to like stand out from the crowd, but actually it's done really nicely. It is a little bit fancy, but I don't think it's over the top. And I think the way they've designed the layout is perfect. The pools look really nice overlooking the sea. I wouldn't mind getting a day bed there someday and just chilling out in the sun. There was plenty of bar room, so the queues at the bar weren't getting too long. And yeah, I just think it's worth a visit if you're gonna be in Bali. This is especially if there's gonna be a big DJ or act on that you wanna see, I would fully recommend paying the money to go. There are a few cons I wanna talk about. One of them is the drinks service. I didn't actually go up to buy a drink because I was sober all night, but my friends did. And it seems to be that you go up and order in one place and you pick up your drink in a separate place. And that doesn't really make for an efficient system of quickly going up and getting drinks. Also. So the bouncers let people stand on the stairs to the dance floor. So trying to get in and out of the dance floor was so difficult trying not to push people downstairs because you have to push through the crowds. And finally, one other con is that the dance floor is made out of little blue pool tiles, which got really slippery in the rain when we first arrived and then got really slippery again when Steve Aoki was throwing the cake into the crowd. Let's talk costs. How much does it cost to go to Atlas Beach Fest? Well, for a general entry for one day is 150K and you get a free drink with that, just like we did with our 
entry. For us to go to Stevie Aoki, it was 500k a ticket for the early release tickets. And the day beds start at 1.5 million during the week and 2.5 million on the weekend. And they can run you up anywhere as high as 20 million if you're looking for the VIP or backstage experience. But yeah, overall, a really great night. I would really recommend going to Atlas Beach Club. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe.